welcome back to another vlog. I feel like I haven't actually talked to you guys on here in a while. I had two back-to-back -back travel vlogs and then I ended up skipping a week, so I guess it has been a while since I just sat and chatted with you guys, so I'm super excited to get back to it with y'all. So today's vlog was supposed to be an April TBR and candles vlog, however, I still have yet to buy my April candles, so I'm going to postpone that to next week's vlog. I do, however, want to make an announcement for what April is going to look like, and that is our new challenge, one and author April Carissa over at the bookish Valkyrie and I are collaborating yet again for another fun month and basically what one author April is is just a challenge of how many books you can read from just one author so for the whole month of April you have to stick to one author I think this is gonna be really fun and the perfect time for people to try and get through an author's whole backlist some examples being Stephen King L Kennedy Sarah J Mass, just authors who have a lot of published works. It's going to be such an interesting and fun way to try and get through all the books without having any distractions of switching to another author. Chris and I actually started planning this back in November of last year and I can't believe that April is already here. I feel like just yesterday, Chris and I were shooting out ideas in our Google Doc trying to plan out this month. But yeah, it's honestly just crazy how time flies. And not only are we in 2022 already, but we are in April as well. Like, how did that happen? Anyways, for today's vlog, I'm going to do a bookshelf tour of every single place in my house that I keep my books. I think I have about like five different bookshelves, so I wanted to just do a whole vlog showing y'all how I organize my books, where I have them, what bookshelves I use, and all that, so let's get into it. I'm going to give you guys a closer look at the first bookshelf, but I wanted to show you guys my pride and joy, this amazing bookshelf from Ikea. It is literally my favorite bookshelf I've ever had. It's perfect. It has a lot of space, it's very minimalistic and pretty, and I'm just clearly obsessed with it, as you guys can tell. <laughs> but before I get into the close-up, I just wanted to show you guys an overview of this bookshelf, because it is pretty big, as you guys can see. It's five by five, so there's five shelves going this way, five shelves going that way, so there's 25 cubes in total which I think is more than enough room to keep like your best books on. I honestly never thought that I would finish filling this bookshelf because I, I didn't realize that I had this many books but I feel like I'm already running out of room. That's because I still have some books on here that I didn't particularly enjoy and I will be donating at the end of this year. I'm not worried though because if I ever do run out of room on this bookshelf, I have so many other places that I could put the rest of my books. Okay, so we're gonna start with the first cube and this one is basically just fantasy reads. So we've got the Shadow and Bone series that I still have yet to read, Once Upon a Broken Heart, which I'll probably put Caraval there as well if I end up liking Once Upon a Broken Heart and decide to go into the Caraval series. And then I have some other random books on there as well. And then from there, we move on to my Sarah J Mass shelves, which are again, my pride and joy. So on this one, I have my collector's edition of Akatar and then the paperback versions. And then also this really cute coloring book. On this shelf, I have my shop's Akatar Zodiac crossover mug. So the Night Court with my Zodiac sign Aquarius. And then to match that, I put my birth date candle there just so it fits in with like a little zodiac theme. And then over here, I have this really pretty Valaris style candle top or candle cover. I don't know what you would call it. Candle lid, there we go. <laughs> um, with a little rose. And then moving on to the next cube, we have my hardbacks of A Court of Thorns and Roses. The covers I have on these are Nerdy Ink. 
They're literally one of the best book companies out there. I'm obsessed with them. Also, ignore these two little things here. They like broke off of my crown, so I just put them there so I can remember to glue them back on. But I also have these two little candles here. This one is the Resand candle. This one is the Court of Dreams candle. And I think these are from Wiccan Fable. So, love those. Moving on to the next cube, this is where I'm going to put my Throne of Glass collection. I still have yet to start the series, but since I loved Crescent City and Akatar, I have a feeling that I'm really going to love this one. So as you guys can see, I'm still trying to build the collection of Throne of Glass. I only have five books so far, but that's where those are going to go. And then moving on, we have Crescent City. I'm actually going to return this because I just kind of want to keep Crescent City in hardcovers. But then after that, I also have From Blood and Ash here, which is another fantasy book that I need to start reading. But I have no other place to put it, so right now it's going to go right here. I also have this candle here that was a gift from one of my friends, and then these cute little matches to go with it. Moving on to the second row, the first cube has my dystopian and sci-fi books. So pretty much these are all dystopian, sci-fi, and then I actually have two mystery books here because I don't have another place to put those. After that, we move on to my Harry Potter cubes, which also pretty much take over my whole entire bookshelf. So I have this Pottery Barn Snow Globe here, which is one of my favorites. I have this owl that I found at Hobby Lobby that reminded me of Hedwig. I have this, which I'm honestly considering getting rid of because I do not consider this canon. And then I also have the Hogwarts Library. This film wizardry book, which actually is really cool. So you all should check this out. And then I have one of my book koozies here that is Harry Potter themed. And then next are my hardcover versions of Harry Potter. These also have the nerdy covers that I was talking about before. These are the first ones I got and where I pretty much fell in love with Nerdy Ink because they're just so pretty. I also have this little ornament here that I made, but it's Akatar, so it should be up here. So I'm gonna move that there. <laughs> I have these glasses here that remind me of Harry Potter. And then I have another Pottery Barn Snow Globe. This one has a light that goes on the train that's so pretty. And then I have my Mina Lima Illustrated Editions that are like another just complete need. They are so pretty. Highly recommend getting those. And then A Magical Year, which I have been slacking reading every day, but this also has very pretty illustrations as well. And then moving on to the last Harry Potter cubby, I have the Jim K Illustrated Editions, which are also some of my favorites, along with The History of Magic. This was one of my mom's employees. I guess she gave it to my mom and knew that I would like it, so that had to find its way in there. Here's the Harry Potter ornament, if you guys can see that. They're just little Harry Potter books. I have these two uh, character and spell book editions, and then some more Wiccan Fable candles. This one is Ravenclaw, and this one is Expecto Patronum. This third row starts with a cube of some of my favorite, favorite, favorite books of all time. The cheat sheet, which y'all know how much I am in love, addicted, obsessed with this. Some more of Sarah Adams books. And then L. Kennedy has completely took me by surprise this year. I honestly almost think I like the deal better than the cheat sheet, which is saying a lot. Because again, y'all know how obsessed I am with it. But anyways, this is like the bookshelf that is my favorite because all these books mean so much to me. I also had an ornament that had these little books in it, but it broke, so now they just kind of sit there. And then I have this little candle from Shelby over at Grace with Books that she gave me for my birthday. So cute, I love it, and I think it matches really well with like the pastel colors of the books. Next is my summer bookshelf. So these are basically all of my summer themed books, which essentially are books that I try to read in the summer because it gives off those summer vibes and most of them take place during the summer anyways. I also have these book boyfriend bookmarks from Steph's Book Therapy. I have Aaron Blackford. <laughs> I actually, I know his name is Brendan, but I don't know his last name because I have yet to read It Happened One Summer. Steph does the book boyfriend bookmarks in groups of three, 
and I just needed someone else to include in it. So I was like, oh, I might like him. So I'll just add him in there anyways. So he's there until I read It Happened One Summer. And then I have Ethan Thomas from The Unhoneymooners, who is, oh, he is bae. And then in the back, I have my book koozie that is summer themed, which I think is really cute to have behind the summer books. And then moving on here is where we have my letter board that has my favorite Harry Potter quote. And then here is my year of 2021 book ornament, which I think is gonna be really cool to like start putting all of my year of books ornaments on here. So I'll have like 2021, 2022, 2023, and so on. I think it's gonna be really cute to put them in front of this. Okay, so after summer obviously comes autumn. So these are my autumn books. And a lot of them are basically just like horror books, like uh, The Shining, Hidden Bodies, I also have other books on here that give me October vibes as well, especially The Witch Haven. This is a really, really good book and I highly recommend it. I have this main maple candle here only because it reminds me of Stephen King who was born in Maine. So I was like, okay, that has to go there. And then I have this fall book as well, which I think perfectly complements the October vibe bookshelf. And then next is obviously Christmas or holiday themed books. I have my Weekend at the Cabin candle that smells basically like Christmas. These two little Christmas trees that I use as bookends. And then all of my holiday books along with another bakuzi that is Christmas themed and so cute. The first cubby on the fourth row are my young adult books. So I have To All the Boys I Loved Before, The Summer I Turned Pretty, Love Series, and then Pretty Little Liars. The next cubby is my historical fiction cubby. So obviously I have Chris and Hannah, I have some Taylor Jenkins Reid. My next cubby kind of gives me fairy tale vibes. I have my Bath and Body Works fairy tale candle here, and then this gorgeous edition of Pride and Prejudice. I also have this book in cart, and then M's Complete Fairy Tales. These are both nostalgic from my childhood, but I feel like this cubby is kind of just like a free for all and just looks pretty. So. <laughs> This next one is basically any fiction that doesn't fit within the seasons or historical or whatnot. It kind of is just another free-for-all type section. So a lot of the books in here are basically like contemporary romances, as you guys can see, and then it continues onward to here. So I have these little plants, as you guys can see, for the bookends. And then right here, um, I have the books that I am going to get rid of because I either didn't like them or I DNF them. I also have this book boyfriend bookmark of Joshua Templeman because he is Bay from The Hating Game, which I have him right in front of The Hating Game book. Okay, lastly, the fifth row starts off with my Nicholas Sparks collection, which is what I will be reading for One Author April. Super excited to start those. Next, I have my, <laughs> I don't even know what to call this section other than it's like my guilty pleasure. <laughs> um, I have the 50 Shades of Grey series and then this really cute book candle. It's from um, Frostbeard Studio. This next section, I guess is another free for all. And if I do end up running out of room, I'll probably get rid of this section first. Um, it does have like science fiction here and then The Hobbit. I don't know when I'm ever gonna start Lord of the Rings, but for some reason I just have a random Hobbit book. <laughs> um, but it has my favorite movie of all time, my Star Wars, my little baby Yoda, and my droid along with an August alchemy candle. Next, I have Game of Thrones, which I actually did read the series. I haven't read this one yet, but I did read all the other books. And then the last cubby. So these are basically my, I guess, suspense and thriller books, which I actually, this is one of the genres that I'm trying to get more comfortable with because I am a wimp. But anyways, so this is my first bookshelf that is actually in my office. So next we'll head over to my bedroom so that we can check out the other bookshelves. Okay, so this is a little bookshelf near my door that kind of just has like random stuff in there. But then here is where I have my Bible and devotional collection. So I have my Bible that I had when I was a kid, 
I still keep it. And then some of my favorite devotionals and just Christian slash Catholic books. And then moving on to the other part of my room, here we have my, it used to be a TBR cart, but now it kind of just holds the books that I don't want to put on my bookshelf. So the top holds all of my autobiography and memoirs, as you guys can see here. And then the middle has all of my self-help books, which I normally, it's really hard for me to get into self-help books just because I prefer fiction over nonfiction. However, one day I am really going to try and get through all of them. The bottom has all of my classical books. So we have like Little Women, Jane Austen, uh, Emily Bront, and then Leo Tolst Tolstoy. I don't know how to say his name. I'm actually not really into classical books either, but I think that one day I will eventually get through all of these. And then I have these cute stickers on it that I put here. That one. And then right here. And then the last bookshelf in my room is actually my nightstand and on the top of it, it holds my devotional that I read every day, another devotional that I read every day, and then my Bible along with my Kindle, which I actually haven't used in a while, but I keep it here regardless. And then my Chicago bookends because I'm obsessed with Chicago. And then moving down. These are all of my elementary slash middle school nostalgia books. So we have this series that I read for summer reading in middle school that I became obsessed with. And then here we have the Click series, which Elite, by the way. And then the Warrior series, which is another series that I literally was completely addicted to as a kid. And then lastly, the final place that I put my books is in the living room on these built-in bookshelves. So this is where I keep my paperbacks of Harry Potter. I lent the first three to one of my friends and I still haven't gotten them back yet. So right now it kind of just has four. But I'll show you guys what the whole bookshelf looks like in our living room. My mom has her books right here. As you could tell, she's not as much of a reader as I am because she literally has like five books. <laughs> And that is it for my mini bookshelf tour. I did want to talk a little bit about how I organize my books in this little system I have going on here. So I actually do it by author last name. So I have everything organized through like the seasons and the genres like I just explained. And then from there, that's where I put them in alphabetical order in terms of the author. I've always wanted to try doing rainbow shelves, so maybe one day in the future I'll do that and I'll vlog it for you guys so y'all can see what this looks like in like rainbow form. But anyways, that is it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for listening in. I hope that this might give y'all some ideas for how to organize your bookshelves. I will link where I got each of them in the description. But other than that, I hope everyone is having a great start to their week and I will see you guys next time.